there guys, Amazon S3 inventory provides a flat file list of our objects and metadata which is a scheduled alternative to the Amazon S3 synchronous list API operation. It provides comma separated values or Apache optimized row columnar or Apache parquet output files that list your objects and their corresponding metadata on a daily or a weekly basis for an S3 bucket or for objects that share a prefix. So let's learn in this tutorial how to configure our inventory. First off, you will need to know that it might take up to 48 hours to deliver the first report we create. Now let's go ahead and sign into Management Console. From there, we head to the Amazon S3 console, which is right over here, and we click on the Buckets section. From here, we choose the name of the bucket that we'd like to get its inventory configured. Let's click on testing tutorials. Now we choose the management tab and then we choose inventory. Upon entering inventory, we click on the option add new to create a new inventory. Now first we must type a name for the inventory and set the following options. So let's start with the name tutorial inventory uh, optionally we can add a prefix for the filter to inventory only objects whose names begin with the same string let's not do this now for the destination bucket we choose where we want the reports to be saved uh, this destination bucket must be in the same region as the bucket for which we are setting up the inventory and it can be in a different account let's select a destination bucket uh, let's go with creator admin. Now optionally we could also choose a prefix for this destination bucket and we must choose how frequently to generate the inventory either daily or weekly as we previously stated. Let's go with daily for this tutorial. Now under advanced settings we can set the following. First off we choose either the CSV, ORC or parquet output file format for our inventory. Let's keep the CSV. For the object versions, to include all the versions of the object in the inventory, we click on include all versions, include all versions. By default, the inventory includes only the current versions of the object. So let's keep it as default, the current version only. For the optional fields, we select one or more of the following to be added into our inventory report when it's generated. Choose the ones that you'd like to keep in the inventory. Let's go with size, last modified date, the storage class, and replication status. Now for the encryption part, we must choose a server-side encryption option to encrypt the inventory report or we go with none. Let's keep it as none since we are just only creating a tutorial and we do not need any encryption needed. So. After finishing this, we click on save, and by this, we would have uh, configured our inventory options. And there we go, it has been updated successfully.